Well, let me show you what we have going on here, you guys. I, I've picked one of my favorite dishes, and Ellis, you told me you love Asian cuisine and you love shrimp. Yep. So we're doing that today, along with, of course, the blind out of your Elvis. So let me just run by some of the ingredients we're going to be using. We're going to be using some monounsaturated fats today. Now, canola oil and olive oil are the healthiest fats. Those are monounsaturated fats. But the one thing you have to remember about healthy oils, like olive oil and canola oil, is that they are fat, about 128 calories per tablespoon. So easy does it. And what I love about some of the great olive oils today is they make them in lots of flavors. There's chili oil, and here is lemon oil and garlic flavored oil. Today we're going to use just a very basic extra virgin olive oil, really great, super simple and easy to use. Okay, And then our vegetables today, I mean, listen, I just went to look at what was really fresh and what was really great, and I selected everything I could that was organic. And then our sauce is going to be very simple. We're using Chinese five spice powder, low sodium soy sauce, hoisin sauce, which is like Asian ketchup, it's what I kind of think of it as, garlic, and vegetable broth. So Ellis, you're in charge of the fire, because I don't know anybody that's hotter than you. So let's go over here, <laughs> wow. come right over there. And uh, we'll get your stove top. We'll get your stove top lit up like that. And then how about a little olive oil there? I'll grab that from you. There you are. And we'll put about a tablespoon in this nonstick pan. Now I like to use nonstick pans because you can use less oil. Why don't we start with the peppers and the onions? Okay. And um, here's your knife right here. We're going to slice them up. Wonderful. And how would you? Would you like them diced or what do you think? Listen, thinking? here's the beauty of this dish. How whatever we like. Yeah, because you know what? It's your dish. Make it your own. Put Ugh. that right in. And we'll try to keep the pieces relatively similar in size so they cook evenly. Right. Yeah, that'll be great. How about we'll do some onions? I'll take care of those for okay, you. Okay, good deal. We're just going to slice them up a little bit like this. Oh, you're putting me to shame here. That's going in like that. Mushrooms next? Um, let's do the celery next. We'll okay. get all the hard vegetables next. Perfect. And let's, let me cut one for you, then you do the rest. Okay. Let's give it kind of a nice Asian look. So on the bias like this. Good call. Yeah. Just like that. I feel like my job's been eliminated. Oh, no, no, no. I'm taking you to a higher level, my friend. Now, let's just put some snow peas in. Oh, snow peas. There you go, man. Good stuff. How much oil did you use? About a tablespoon, 128 calories. See, the, the, I know what you're thinking. Need more oil. But we're going to hold Come back on. on that because you're just not going to need it. Okay, let's give this a flip. I'm going to do this once, and you're doing it next. You ready? Just like that. All right. Now, Ann, I have some sliced water chestnuts that are drained. All right. You can put all those in there. You want to chop them up or we're just throw them in? Just right in, just like that. Good idea. All right. And let's do some onions. Okay. And what I like to do I is love we're just going to take the tips off them like this, and we're also going to cut those on a bias. Okay. Ellis, how's that looking? Looks good and it smells good too. Alright. So those are already cooked and peeled. Um, you can certainly buy them that way. These are what they call natural, lower in sodium, and cooked in the shell. Really, really great. Okay, so now it's time for the sauce. And are you ready? Absolutely. Here we go. We're going to take um, our vegetable stock. Right? And this is our hoisin. Mm. That was our Asian ketchup. It's kind of a bean curd flavor, very sweet, no heat. Okay, so that you can mix that up really All great. Alright, right, here we go, a little soy sauce. You need a kitchen like this, Annie. You look right at home here. <laughs> Five spice powder, cinnamon, all kinds of great seasoning. That's gonna go in about a teaspoon. Okay, mix that up really great. And garlic. Mm. Now listen. Never have too much garlic. I agree, and I'm kind of lazy. So you know what I like? Because I like to cook fast and quick and delicious, I buy the garlic already chopped in the jar in olive oil. It keeps in the refrigerator really well, 
And look, my hands don't get all garlic. It's perfect, yeah. fast, and ready to go. All right, now let's just see how that's looking. Oh yeah, this is going to be great. Okay, so our heat's up high on this, and we're going to add that mixture to that. Yep, all the way right in there. Mm. Look at all those tasty chunks of garlic in there. And a little fresh cracked pepper. If I flip it, I'll look like Carmen Miranda. It'll be on my head. <laughs> okay, Alice, here we go. Flipping lesson. Check it out, man. You ready? Just nice and easy. Just like you're playing you sure the blues. Oh, yeah, man, you can handle it. You're a trained professional. <laughs> All right. There you go. Yeah, you got it going mm, close, there. Close, close. Oh, it's tasty. Nice. So, here's the 411. A lot of vegetables. Nice shrimp, protein, no carbohydrates. No fat in the shrimp, brightly colored vegetables, a nice light, not thickened sauce, super simple, really easy. Ooh, we'll just put a little garnish like that, and hey, you're good to go. Put a little mushroom guy there, love it. I call this my five spice Asian shrimp of love. Now listen, you might like your vegetables cooked a little crispier, that's really fine, uh, or, or, or less, you know, or more. Let me say that again. You might like your you <laughs> might <laughs> you might like your vegetables done a little bit more. I like them a little bit crispier. Um, I think it's up to yourself, whatever you like. The vegetables are great. I love the hoisin along with the five spice and the garlic. Simple and easy. And what's really awesome about this the next day, take it to lunch, or after it's cold, take a little oil and vinegar dressing and make it into a salad. Salad. Yeah. Great idea. Yeah. You guys are good cooks. Else, what are you talking about? You are a good cook. <laughs> I used to flip pancakes at Sambo's. Man, if you play guitar half as well as you cook, <laughs> this would be awesome. Or if you could cook half as well as you could play guitar, something like that. There you go. Nice.